Why, hello guys, my name is Helio00, I'm for Streamer Square. Today we're going to be teaching you how to set up a PayPal donate button for your stream, Twitch, or whatever account that you'd like. If you see right here, I've already logged into PayPal. Um, it's very simple to get an account, completely free. I highly suggest because you are going to be using for donations to be able to do a business account. Um, it's very simple when you do sign up for an account. It's going to ask you if you want a personal or business. I, like I said, highly suggest business. It actually works out and it's completely free. Uh, business will help you out down the way, down the way um, with advertising, the way that you pay, the way that you cash out. And also if you do become a bigger um, streamer that actually does receive a lot of donations or payments, it makes it a lot easier later on to be able to withdraw your money and to be able to file for taxes. So as you see, I do have my main page open here. What you're going to do is you're going over to Merchant Services. That's going to load the web page. Uh, right here, this is everything that you're going to do if you ever want to pay for money, if you ever want to have access to any of your cards, uh, if you want to you know, be able to get, so you see, swipe cards from your mobile device, they send that for your businesses. Um, right now, of course, we are just handling donation buttons. So what we're going to do is create a payment button for your website. It's so going to bring up this screen. Um, it's very simple, actually. On this screen, all you do is scroll down. It does say create a button here. I wouldn't even worry about that. All I would do is just right here the donate button. It makes it very simple to just go ahead and do that. It sets it up for you right away. So you see it says donations right here. Um, with organization name, gun name, or whatever you like, uh, I say Helio00 Twitch Stream. Um, donation ID is it's just something for you to identify with later on, uh, just so you're able to grab a button or just so when the donations come in there it comes in as this. So this is when a donation comes in, it's going to come in as a stream. Which is very good. Uh, you could customize the text appearance over here. Is how it looks right now. What you could do, obviously, it's the PayPal button. You can use a smaller button, which would just be very small like that. You could display the credit cards or don't display the credit cards. That is completely up to you. I display the credit cards personally. Uh, I like to know that when my viewers see it, they have the options of these are what the options are. And um, it really helps out later on. And of course, your language, if you want to change it to any language like that. You could also use your own button image. Uh, I believe that that's what I'm going to be doing later on. Um, changing it around a little bit once I do get my stream up. I believe that's exactly what everyone else should do too. It adds originality to your stream. But for right now, a simple PayPal button, and it's very recognizable. It's very simple. Let's just go with that for right now. Um, your currency, the USDA or USD. Of oh, course, A. Well, I don't know why I said A. USD is uh, very simple. It's the United States dollar. Um, donators will enter their own contribution or to contribute a fixed amount. I would always go with enter your own contribution amount. You want to make sure that your viewers get to enter whatever amount they want um, from one cent to a thousand dollars. I mean, it, it, whatever they want to enter, whatever they want to give to you and they find entertaining, let them have that. Don't have a fixed amount. And then use my secure merchant ID or your primary email address. I would actually go with my primary email address um, just in the sense because you want to be able to have it later on as a very simple um, a very simple thing that you understand and you know so later on when you're reporting your merchants you can do that so if we go back up here it says save your buttons optionally I always save my buttons um, sorry I always save my buttons just because it's very simple to go back and edit them and then this is the customized advanced tools I'd make sure to go in here just because you can set up whatever's going to happen with your button when they do click it. Like the special instructions, do you want to be able to have your customer um, send you a special message like a lot of streamers do these days? I always like it to. I always want to hear from my viewers and, and want to hear what they want to say to me with the donation. Um, that is completely up to you. You do not need a shipping address for a donation. Uh, I highly suggest to turn that off just to maintain the viewer's um, privacy. It really is something that is is very um, you know very uh, comforting, I guess you want to say, to uh, just make sure that you don't have to enter any personal information, you don't have to enter any name. You know you can stay behind whatever your screen name is. And these are really fun right here. If you wanted to, they, when they finish their checkout, if you want to take them to like a thank you screen, or if you want to take them right back to your stream, you can. And same thing with this cancel their checkout. If you want to, you can actually uh, make a URL to send them to like a sorry page or, you know, what you do that for. That's just the stupid stuff like that. Um, if you want, like when they cancel their checkout or, or take it right back to the stream as well. 
Uh, these are just for the line breaks, uh, well, not line breaks. These are for like the HTML and everything. That if you want to add custom HTML to your button, otherwise, click, click create a button. And here's this is very important here. Now, usually, you come down here, you uh, grab all that, you'd go put it on your um, whatever website you're going to. This is really good if you do have a personal website. I highly suggest that. But you're gonna go email and you're gonna copy this. That's gonna be the code that you're gonna put into your stream right there. So it makes it easier. So I already opened my stream just to make sure that you can see it. Over here is the donate button, very, very easily uh, accessible at any time. So you can see right there. Um, it, it really helps, like I said, I just use a standard one, it really helps that I have all these credit cards down there so they know, because most debit cards come with MasterCard, Visa on it already, they want to know that they can use their American Express, they can use their Discover card, they can use the bank, um, which I'm not sure exactly, I think that's direct wire if I'm not mistaken, but they want to know that they can have all the options in the world to be able to give back to your stream. I always write a message underneath my donation just to let them know here you know this is what's going to and I appreciate your contribution to my stream to be able to uh, work towards providing a better experience for their entertainment it really helps it really um, you know it really pushes them in the right direction but there you go that's how you donate this will appear down here and uh, all line up of course but that's how you donate the moment that they click on that they can choose the amount they can donate straight to you very simply so Again, my name is Helios00. I do work for Shimmer Square. I'm a writer and a, stream, a future streamer coming forward. Uh, check out the other videos on Streamer Square and the other articles to get your stream started. All right? Thank you very much.